All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Saturday. Love the weekend here in the cave. A little bit of a late start, but I have been up since 4.45 a.m., so don't think I slept in this morning, because I did not. Uh, um, good week in the cave this uh, week, right? I threw a lot of stuff at you, maybe a bunch of stuff that you don't listen to, so... Uh, we are going to do uh, probably several days in a row of stuff that you, of course, do know. I do believe that is the case as I get my calendar together. So, what are we talking about today? I'm excited about today. Uh, we are going back to uh, 1983 when this song was heading up the charts towards its peak. We're talking about Stevie Nicks and her lead-off single on her album when we're talking about stand back everyone knows this song i mean this is like a giant softball for you guys i mean i'm just lobbing it up to you today right um so stand back the lead single from her second solo album it would peak at number five in august of that year and number two on the mainstream rock tracks chart which i wish we had more access to when we were kids because the hot 100 always had a lot a lot of uh the disco dance that kind of stuff pop stuff on there and if i had known there was a mainstream rock track chart maybe i would have been paying a little bit more attention to that this song what an awesome song right first of all i mean it's iconic the video is iconic we'll get to that uh but it was debuted on the 1983 concert the us festival live and there's a video of that out there so we're going to post that but think about that she debuted it at such a huge concert and then of course played a staple of her live shows ever since uh speaking of the us festival i don't probably don't need to remind you you probably all know but if you want to go back to season one episode 52 of song of the day that's when i covered the us festival and that's one of my favorite episodes uh, i do have favorite episodes and on that one is one of them uh it's definitely worth checking out uh you can see that on my youtube channel and subscribe while you're at it. Uh, um, all right, so how did this song come about? She got married. It turns out she married someone named Kim Anderson. And uh, they were in the car driving up the California coast to their honeymoon. And the song Little Red Corvette from Prince came on. And she was singing along to it. And the melody got stuck in her head. And basically started writing the lyrics to this song. And that night at the honeymoon suite, they recorded a demo of this song they get back she calls prince and says hey i'm using your melody in a song i wrote just wanted to let you know that so what does he do he comes to the recording session and he plays uh the keyboard he plays the synthesizer on this song it's uncredited on the album uh so you won't find his name on there but that is him playing on it and they even split the royalties for this song 50 50. how about that i think that's an awesome awesome story right there uh there were two videos made for this the first one was called the scarlet version where she does this like uh gone with the wind theme and when it was finally done she watched it and she did not like it one bit thought she looked fat we all know about her issues uh in and around all that stuff so uh she said nope we're not releasing that it was not released you can see it now uh but uh i'll post that below but that one she she said no on so they re-recorded it they stripped down the video very uh not much going on in this video the but it's like the, it's the one we all grew up on it's the one we all love right she's on what looks like a treadmill and she's got the light in back of her which is just lighting up her hair she's got uh the angel wings she's got the spins she got the uh oh the the random ballet dancers that just show up in every 80s video from 1982 to 1987 or so uh you know, it's like you'd, you'd, you'd figure that just uh, ballet dancers just showed up and started dancing wherever you went if you walked down the street, right? They were just a staple in all the videos. And this is so much 80s fun when you watch this video. So, stand back. I mean, her voice and uh, just uh, the way she looks and just, oh, it's so good. This song does not get old. Love this song. Play it today. Play Stand Back. We're not going to talk about other Stevie Nicks songs because uh, I love Stevie Nicks and we're going to have more coming down the pike. But I will say 
If you want some semi-deep or deep cuts, make sure you listen to Rooms on Fire and Whole Lot of Trouble today. If you don't know those two songs, check them out. But we'll go do some more Stevie Nicks later in the year for sure. So enjoy some Stevie Nicks. Stand back today, Saturday. Great song for the weekend. Enjoy it. Post your comments below. Love to hear the stories. Uh, and have a great weekend, great Saturday. We'll see you tomorrow for Slow Down Sunday. Have a good one, and as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side.